Lily is a curious little girl who lives in a distant village. The houses in the village are made of stone, with roofs covered in bright blue tiles. When the morning sunlight shines on them, the entire village seems to be surrounded by golden light. Although her family is not wealthy, it is full of love. Since her parents passed away early, she and her younger brother rely on each other, supporting each other every day. One day, while Lily was tidying up her old home, she accidentally discovered an old map that was hidden away. This was not an ordinary map, it had peculiar symbols and markings on it. The map seemed to document her grandfather's adventurous journey in his youth, pointing to an unknown sea area. Driven by curiosity, she decided to embark on a journey to find the treasure left by her grandfather. Carrying food and water, Lily embarked on her adventure. She first crossed the vast meadows, climbed rugged mountains, and finally reached a golden beach. On the beach, the golden glow of the setting sun brought warmth and hope. There, she met a friendly dolphin that joyfully leapt in the sea. The seawater appeared slightly golden red due to the setting sun, very beautiful. Lily greeted the dolphin, and it seemed to respond. It swam to Lily's side and handed her a golden compass. The compass shimmered, seemingly possessing magical power. Guided by the compass, Lily entered a dense forest. The forest air carried a moist scent, surrounded by various unique plants and animal sounds. Suddenly, she was knocked down by a strong gust of wind. As she tried to stand up, she found herself surrounded by two peculiar creatures, a red dragon and a fluffy little fox. At first, their gaze was somewhat indifferent, but they soon showed a friendly side, especially when they learned Lily was searching for treasure. The red dragon and the little fox told her that an ancient city lay ahead, where the treasure her grandfather once sought was hidden. They also described the city's past prosperity, streets lined with various shops, the voices of vendors, performances by artists, and admiration from tourists everywhere, creating a bustling scene. Lily discovered a large library in the city, where a bear was the librarian, specializing in ancient texts, a rabbit was the assistant responsible for organizing and restoring old books. They told Lily that to restore the city's glory, they needed to find three lost magical books. In the process of searching for the first magical book, Lily and her new friends encountered a massive labyrinth. The walls of the labyrinth had peculiar patterns, seemingly hiding some secrets. Lily and the little fox observed these patterns while following the compass's guidance, trying to find a way out. After some effort, they finally found a magical book hidden beneath a stone tablet. When searching for the second book, they had to pass through a cliff shrouded in thick fog. The fog was so thick that they could only see a step ahead. Lily held tightly onto the red dragon's scales, while the little fox lightly leapt on the rocks. With the help of the red dragon, they crossed the sea of fog and eventually found the second magical book in a cave. To find the third book, they had to challenge a massive volcano. Lava bubbled from the volcano's mouth, with smoke and ash filling the air. The red dragon spread its wings and flew high, leading Lily and the little fox over the volcano's mouth, successfully finding the last magical book on the other side of the volcano. When they returned to the ancient city's library with the three magical books, 
the little bear and rabbit had already prepared a magic circle. They placed the books down and began chanting spells. Soon, the entire ancient city was enveloped in golden light, and all the buildings and streets were restored to their original state, once again showing their past prosperity. After the adventure, Lily felt an unprecedented fatigue and closed her eyes. When she woke up, she found herself still in her bed at home, with the golden compass hanging around her neck, emitting a soft glow.